Welcome to Yvonne Meets Food, where I share my passion for making food, eating food, as well as traveling the world to discover and eat even more food. Today is our third day here in Jakarta, Indonesia, and for those of you who are not in the know, Indonesia is one of the largest producers of coffee in the whole freaking world. So of course what that means is during our trip in Indonesia, we're going to be trying coffee, probably sampling different types of beans from the different islands, because there are many islands that make up Indonesia. And one of the places that came up repeatedly during my research for this trip was a place called Kopi Luwak. Luwak. So Kopi Luwak, the name Kopi means coffee, and then Luwak is referring to a native cat that is in Indonesia that historically they used to try to eat these coffee beans that were in the area where they lived, and then they their digestive tract was not able to actually fully process it, which meant, what did it mean? It ended up meaning that they actually pooped it all out. But then someone randomly decided in Indonesia oh, all of these coffee beans that these cats have pooped out, maybe we could actually do something with it. And lo and behold, it became what is now known as Kopi Luwak. So we're gonna go into Kopi Luwak, which is inside the Epicentrum Mall here in Jakarta, to try out what is supposed to be the most expensive coffee in the world, and to see if it lives up to its height. Supposedly, what is the most expensive coffee in the world, which is Kopi Luwak or Luwak coffee. This is cute, this little cat on the top. So, what happens when you drink coffee that is made from beans spit out by the cats and their feces? Ooh, steaming hot. They told us to brew it for just two minutes to get the perfect flavor. Ooh, super dark roasty. It's very, very potent. Okay. Very steamy, here goes. Fresh is fresh, cat feces coffee. <laughs> oh wow, that is a super dark roast. It's almost like a chicory type of like deep dark chocolate flavor. It's even almost like a little bit smoky, but it's definitely dark roasty. If you like dark roast coffee, this is definitely going to be a coffee for you. The most expensive coffee you'll probably have, but definitely a coffee you should try. Wow. This is really, really deep flavored. Doesn't even need the sugar or anything. So since we were here, we decided, since we're at this nice specialty coffee shop and we had it all to ourselves, that we would order two additional drinks just to see what was on offer. So the first one is going to be a coffee that is blended with avocado. Avocado is super popular here in Indonesia. It's always added to a lot of different ice and soup desserts. And also apparently they drink it with coffee. It's also topped with some whipped cream as well as some chocolate shavings. Or the third drink that we got was this pandan iced tea. So it's basically gonna be a strong tea with pandan leaf syrup. So I'm expecting this will be very syrupy. It's very frothy on the top. It smells very fragrant, just like pandan. So I'm looking forward to trying both of these. Hmm. Really creamy and really frothy, this coffee avocado drink. Mmm. Oh wow, this is so good. It almost tastes like it's been blended with chocolate. But it's just the coffee. Wow. Have you ever had any doubts that chocolate and avocado could go together? Or sorry, that coffee and avocado could go together? This will definitely help you change your mind. It's so creamy. And the richness of the coffee kind of comes out at the very end. It has a perfect level of sweetness too. I'm gonna actually try to drink it out of the glass. I thought it was a bit thick in the beginning to drink it out of the glass. Mm. A really thick coffee, avocado-y, chocolatey smoothie. 
is so good. So lastly, we're gonna try this really frothy pandan tea. Pandan's one of my very, very favorite flavors. You can find it pretty much everywhere in Southeast Asia. I grew up having pandan in a lot of Vietnamese desserts that my mom used to get me. This is the frothiest pandan tea I've probably ever had. Look at all that froth on the top. Isn't that pretty? It's almost too pretty to drink. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, this is the best pandan tea I've probably ever had. It's like florally, it tastes almost like naturally creamy. Almost like buttery undertones. Oh my god. This is the best pandan tea ever. It's so refreshing and so cooling. This is definitely the best. This texture is so crazy. I've had a lot of different pandan teas at many different places, but this frothy texture, I don't even know how they got it this way. How do you even create froth from a freaking tea? There's no milk in it. This is definitely the best. <laughs> you have to come to Kopi Luwak and have this pandan tea in addition to the coffee. You cannot come here and not get this. This is amazing. This is probably one of the best stories we've had since we've come to Indonesia. worth it. So all of these coffee drinks were so amazing. It was such a treat to be able to experience the most expensive coffee in the world right here in Jakarta. I definitely think that having this rich coffee definitely gives me some perspective on the types of coffee that we can expect to have during the remainder of our trip here in Indonesia. I would probably say though that the highlight of all three of these drinks to me personally was this pandan tea. Pandan flavor was just so rich. It was kind of earthy, very florally, kind of like almost creamy and buttery, but naturally. And I just love, love the texture of just how creamy and frothy it was. Texture is definitely like a big draw here. It's already quite sweet when it was served to us, but in addition to the sweetener that they already added in, they actually gave us a little, a little thing of sugar syrup in case we wanted to add more sugar. I think it would personally be a bit unnecessary, but in case you want it sweeter, you can certainly add more sweeter. So I hope if you ever come in Jakarta, definitely look up a Kopi Luwak location. It's such a treat to be able to come here. It's a really nice respite from the hustle and bustle of Jakarta. We're in a really beautiful space that is super spacious. It's very beautiful in here, as you can see. It serves us pretty quick and friendly. The glassware and the cups that you get are really, really pretty. And the coffee here is really great. And again, the biggest highlight to me personally was this pandan tea. So whether you're here for tea, coffee, or even like a quick bite, you've even got a full food menu here in case you want to try that out. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear what your favorite kind of coffee is to drink if you're a coffee drinker or if you're a tea drinker i'd love to hear what your favorite tea drink is as well as i'm actually more of a tea person than a coffee person so please subscribe for more food more travel more cooking as we explore more of jakarta and more of this beautiful country that is indonesia thanks again for watching see you soon bye